Hey guys, Drake here with the Nectar Bar, and today we are day 11 of quarantine 2020. It's rainy and it's stormy, so I'm coming to you from inside the butterfly house. So I want to talk about raising some caterpillars, and if you've never done it before, um, you should definitely start out with uh, caterpillars that are fairly easy and have no, um, no really true problems um, like one problem could be that you don't have enough of its food source. So the best two would be Gulf fritillary caterpillars or black swallowtail um, caterpillars because those two, their food sources are readily available almost at any given time. Um, so I'm going to start with some of the basics. One, make sure you have everything that you need. A rearing cage and you could do any type of rearing cage um, I have these because these are parasitic proof so that means that no little parasite parasitic um, flies or wasp or anything like that can get through this mesh to lay their eggs inside the caterpillars or inside the chrysalises so I like to use these cages because of that. You can certainly use many different things, um, even little um, containers that are like, let me grab over here, that are like this. This was used um, to rescue some caterpillars and then bring them. Um, but yeah, you can use anything that you kind of have on hand that you feel is safe and it has enough airflow that they can breathe. Um, I have here, these are the caterpillars um, that I was uh, cleaning out their cage. So in the cage, you wanna line it with a paper towel, a clean paper towel. This is something that you will want to change and clean daily. Um, you wanna have a type of container and you'll wanna make sure that you know how many caterpillars that you have. Um, in a cage this size, which is a 12 by 12 by 12, um, I recommend no, putting no more than six caterpillars in this cage with their plant. Um, these are red admiral butterflies, well, the caterpillars, they're baby butterflies. And you always want to make sure that you have all of the caterpillars that you started with. And sometimes caterpillars look different. Like that looks like it could be different. It's much lighter than this one's so dark. Um, but they definitely are still the same caterpillar. There we go. And I did have four and I have four in there and I always make sure. Now, if you're cleaning stuff up and you've put it in here, you might want to put your lid on because if you have a lid on it, then they can't escape like they're trying to run around and escape. So what I'm going to do is these were the old plants that were in there and just in case that there were some eggs on there and maybe a caterpillar or two that I did not see um, because the egg was there and I didn't see the egg, I'm going to keep it inside just in case. Better to be safe than sorry. So I've stuck my plants back in there. Those are pretty good eaten up, um, but they could be hiding down in the little leaf litter um, and I don't see them. I've made some fresh cuttings because I don't have any more in pots. So I've done some fresh cuttings and basically I have used wet floral foam. That's what I use to keep these um, wet. You can also use floral tubes, um, or you can just stick them in a jar. But if you do something like that, you're going to want to make sure that you stick saran wrap or um, foil or something to keep the caterpillars from not falling inside and accidentally drown. So now that I have everything in here, I'm going to come back to my container. And I see that I have still my four caterpillars. So I'm going to carefully make sure that you have clean hands because if there's any type of chemical on your hands you don't want to touch your caterpillar so I always wash my hands before I come and start cleaning cages and handling caterpillars okay let's just do one at a time and I'm just gonna let him get on there yep And they're not as fragile as you think, but you definitely want to gently pick them up. That's just the rain blowing stuff around, those noises. <laughs> and so I have one that I already put in there, and then I have three 
in my hands. And so I gently put them on their plants. And they're ready. They're ready to get chowing down. Yep, get on there. There you go. One more. Come on, little guy. There you go. There you go. And just like that, well, let's get out the spider because we don't want the spider. And sometimes you don't see the spiders either. So unfortunately, sometimes nature happens. And then I will close up my cage, um, which I'm not gonna be able to do. I have one hand. Um, close it up tight and then watch and make sure that when they need new food to replenish the new food. Once the cage is finished, or not the cage, once the caterpillars are finished and they pupate, you can take everything out. Um, and then once they've emerged from their chrysalis, you just set them free. When cleaning the cage, you take everything out, you spray it down with Lysol only. That's it, no bleach, no nothing, just Lysol. Spray it down really, really well, really nice into the corners, um, and then let it set for 24 hours before you introduce a new set of caterpillars um, to the cage. And that's pretty much it. So there you have it, just raising some caterpillars, making some butterflies, and enjoying your quarantine 2020. So until next time, Peace, love, and butterflies.